Oh hey, it's Emily, and today I wanted to film a quick video talking about some high priority reads for the year. So this isn't necessarily literally 23 books to read in 2023, but I did want to have some video to talk about how I'm going to be prioritizing things this year and kind of the thought process that I'm going to be going through in terms of of all the things I could read, how am I going to strategize to pick and choose some things that I'm going to designate as high priority. So first of all, of course, is my physical TBR. And so these are, of course, going to be some things that I'll consider high priority because I've really tried to very carefully dwindle down uh, the books that I have on my physical TBR to be ones that I'm actively very excited about and going to read in the near future. So I've worked really hard to do that, and so this is kind of the result um, at least as of this moment of what that looks like and so these are of course priorities and are something to think about another thing that i would love to check in on is the buzz wordathon so this is a is a readathon or kind of a, a challenge more throughout the year to there's a word or a collection of, of words or a theme that Kayla from Books and Lala has picked for each month of the year and I think it would be fun to, to try to to try to do the challenge throughout the year and so in January and February for example the words were life or death so reading a book with either life or death as part of the title uh, just as an example and she's got different things throughout the year. Some of them are specific words, some of them are broader concepts that can fit quite a few words underneath that. Um, so that'll be something that I really am looking forward to trying to do throughout the year and I'm planning on doing some a series of videos for some of these to check in on how I'm doing and I'll figure out the best way to do that or how I want to do that. If I want to do it vlog style or just a quick chatty check-in every now and then, but we'll, we'll see. Another one that I want to do is catch up book club. So uh, one, I'm still reading The Realm of the Eldelaine world. Um, I've read two series in that world, and meanwhile the catch up book club is completely done with all five series that are in that universe. So I'm currently, uh, I have the third one on my physical TBR shelf right here near me where I'm filming. And so you know, first of all, I want to catch up with the realm of the elderly world and continue on there. But another thing that I want to do, they've moved on to their next series, and that is a series and a world that I've been interested in, and that is the first law world. And I happened to find the the first trilogy in the first law world at a library book sale. And I also have them on audio that I've collected from Audible sales as I've noticed that they've been on sale, I've, I've started to pick quite a few of those up. So I think I have almost all of the books in the First Law world on audio. So, you know, hopefully I'll be able to participate in that, maybe even do it in a timely manner and, and catch the live shows, maybe live or soon after they're posted and actually keep up with them this time. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but that's another thing that I have on my radar. Another thing that I have on my radar is the Magical Readathon. There's kind of a side, a year-long side quest, and I'll, I'll link everything to, you know that I'm referring to. I'll link stuff down below so that you can find out more information because I'm not going to go into details for quite a few of these. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm linking everything down below. So I will link the video that I'm referring to where G from Book Roast is talking about a, a little side adventure uh, where she's put together a series of prompts uh, throughout the year and you start from the top, make some decisions, and then you kind of go down a decision tree and the decisions that you make throughout the year about which prompts you want to go for will affect your end result. It's super fun and I, I would love to I would love to participate and, and keep up with that throughout the year. 
Another thing that I would love to do is keep up with a couple of my friends' TBR games, and for some of them, they have ways for for their audience to participate. So I'm specifically thinking of Kem from Expedition Through Pages and Amy from A Star Reads, and they're both a delight. As I mentioned, I will link everything down below, including their channels. Would highly recommend going to check their channels out. They have super fun TBR games, and they both are inviting their audience to participate in various ways in their in their TBR games, which is super fun. I love me a TBR game. And so if I can keep up with the audience prompts or the ways that they're having their audience participate, I would love to be able to keep up with those as much as I can. And you know, join in and have some fun with that. So those are those are some other ways that I'm gonna prioritize how I select what I read is looking at the prompts that are that they've picked for those TBR games and then seeing what I can do to make to make some things fit. Um, another thing that I would love to do is I, I have a, a Brandon Sanderson mission this year that is twofold. One, this is the year of Sanderson, so he's releasing his four COVID rights <laughs> that he extra books that he wrote during lockdown. Um, he's starting to release those. I have the first one, the physical copy of the first one, as well as the audiobook. And so I am definitely planning on keeping up with those as they come to me. They are stunningly gorgeous, so I'm very excited. And, uh, you know, I'd love to keep up with those as well. And I also want to see how far I can get into the Stormlight Archives this year. The fifth one is coming out later this year. And to my understanding, the fifth one is going to be the end of kind of a, a story arc and then there's going to be another five book story arc is, is how I understand it and so I feel like this is a good chance to catch up with the Stormlight Archives read the first story arc or the first set of books in that series and then you know have, have that be where I am in the Cosmere so that is another huge mission that I'm going to be on this year. And then, of course, I'm also wanting to prioritize the climate nonfiction that I have. I have started a an environmental book club meetup group, and I'm hoping to do a book every other month for that. And so that's going to be another huge thing that I'm prioritizing this year is getting through some of the climate nonfiction that I really have been looking forward to getting to and have not prioritized. So those are going to be some ways that I prioritize my reads and some things that I am hoping to get through this year. Again, not 23 specific books. I do love watching lists of 23 books to read in 2023 and, and those kinds of those kinds of videos. I do really enjoy watching those. And I was thinking about trying to come up with a specific list, but since quite a few of the things that I want to do this year uh, involve things where I don't have the prompts yet, it's kind of hard to pick specific books. And I, you know, I can pick 23 books outside of these projects that I'm working on. And, you know, maybe I'll, I might make a separate video of that, of some specific books that I want to prioritize and if they fit into these larger projects that I would love to be a part of, then great. Or otherwise, it's just other things that I'm doing aside from the things that I've mentioned in this video. So I might do a follow-up video to this one in the near future, or I might just have this be, uh, I might have this be it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I at least wanted to have this provide some, some context for some video projects that I have uh, that I'm planning throughout the year that are related to these projects that I've mentioned and of course just be able to link all of the exciting things down below in one place. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun and if you're following along with any of these other things as well then let me know. Um, I would love to join in and yeah I will link down below everything that I mentioned. I will also link my Instagram as well. I'm hoping to get better about posting more consistently on Instagram. And I will also link more information about how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.